Welcome to the Horse Owners Minute. We left off in our last video, part two, with alfalfa pellets and talked about how they supply protein and fiber in the horse's diet. We're gonna pick up today in part three and discuss other plant protein products that we use in equine diets. We're lucky to have with us Mr. Ryan Craig today, the 4-H agent in Roosevelt County. Ryan, can you tell us about other feedstuffs that supply protein in the diet? Absolutely, Jason. The first feed sample is whole soybeans, which you will not likely see used in many livestock feeds. Since soybean has a trispan inhibitor which decreases protein digestibility, they are commonly processed to remove the oil for other uses, leaving soybean meal, shown here. Soybean is Soybean meal is considered the gold standard for protein supplements in livestock feeds as it has a very good amino acid profile. As you can see, the meal has a yellow color and a granular texture. These little brown shiny seeds are flaxseed or linseed. Flax is grown for its oil or its fiber depending on the variety. The oil is a good source of omega-3 fatty acids and the linseed meal is an excellent protein supplement for livestock feeds. We looked at something like this in part two. What is it, Ryan? Well, these are whole cotton seeds with a fuzzy cotton lint covering the oil containing seed. While whole cotton seed may be limit fed to other livestock, you do not typically use them in horse diets. Cotton seed can contain a toxin known as gossypol, which is better tolerant by ruminants than monogastrics like horses and pigs. Much of the toxin is removed during the milling process in the areas of the country where cotton is grown. You may see cottonseed meal used in feeds as a protein supplement, although its amino acid profile is not as good as our soybean meal. Ryan, what's this bird seed doing in the kit for horses? Well, Jason, it's the last protein supplement we're gonna cover. This is sunflower seed. It is another protein supplement in areas where sunflower is harvested, the meal can also be used as a good horse feed protein. What's next, Ryan? Well, this is white granular material, is simply white salt. It is used to provide electrolytes to the horse and encourage the intake of feed. Kind of like us, horses seem to like sweet and salty tastes. Ryan, what's this brown cakey stuff over here that smells so good? This is simply dried molasses. Both dried and liquid molasses are commonly used in the feed milling process to reduce dust in feed mix. Helps bind feed ingredients together as well as helps in flavoring to encourage intake for horses. Ryan, thank you for sharing your knowledge and expertise with us today. Folks, this concludes part three of our video series on the New Mexico 4-H Hypology Feed ID Kit. Thank you for joining us, and remember, your New Mexico Cooperative Extension Service is here to provide answers and research-based information to your equine questions. Thank you for joining us. See you next time on the Horse Owners Minute.